Hi, I'm Christy Turner with Orange Dragonfly, and I am cooking Thanksgiving turkey for my family. What's kind of amazing about this is they actually didn't know I could cook. So we're going to actually do this for prosperity, record it, take some pictures, and show you how I make my Thanksgiving what turkey. What I've already done is brine the turkey, which you can find that recipe on my blog, orangedragonflyblog.com. We've patted it dry. I just took some nice twine and tied the legs together and have already toothpicked down the neck according to the recipe, Ulan Turkey. We've taken the wings and we put them underneath. So the turkey is looking really pretty and it's ready to go. So the first thing that I always recommend doing is starting out with some nice softened butter. Because you know, butter makes everything better. We all know that this is true. And you just want to go ahead and rub this all over the skin. Of the, of the bird. Now I had already um, folded that flap underneath and this is one little mistake so I'm going to take that off because I want to get a little bit of the butter into the cavity and on top of the breast. If you can see my hand I can now get underneath the skin and get some butter in there as well. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over. We're just slathering on more butter. So what I've already put into the cavity, because I do not put my stuffing into the bird, is I cut up one apple, and I had a, uh, two cloves of garlic, and half of an onion is all inside. That thing's kind of heavy. This is a 22 pound bird. And yes, I love Martha Stewart. I always like to think that she comes in and takes over my body when I'm making a huge meal, and this time is no different. So she has always recommended to do a cheesecloth on top of your turkey to keep all the moisture in and all the flavors and so that when it comes off it has this nice um, roasted appearance. So I've taken one cheesecloth, I unfolded it, and now refolded it so it's a quadruple cheesecloth. In my basting mixture, I put in one stick of butter, half a bottle of dry white wine, my favorite is actually the Vogel Chardonnay, I'll also serve that with dinner. I put in three cloves of uh, crushed garlic, half an onion um, slice, and then this year, and it's not on the website, but I'm trying something new. So I put in half a teaspoon of rosemary, thyme, savory, and um, some other onion salt, oh, and a little bit of sage. And I've let this simmer for about 20 minutes, so it is going to be a little bit warm. I should have let it cool down a little bit. So if you see me gas with pain, you know why. So I'm just going to take my cheesecloth, I'm going to put it into the mixture. Ooh, that is hot. All right, I might need to get through some tongs real quick. Okay, I want that to soak up the mixture. And I'm actually going to have to make this basting mixture a couple times throughout the day because, like Martha says, that you should be basting um, every 30 minutes to one hour. And I like it when I baste every 30 minutes because that the bird comes out so moist. And that's when I get that ooh and ah, which is what I'm going for tonight. And if I don't get that, you might see me crying. Okay, maybe not. So, this is really hot. Like I said, I should have let it cool down just a little bit. But you can see all the nice herbs on the cheesecloth. I'm going to bring that over to the turkey and just kind of unfold it again. I'm actually going to put those herbs herbside side down. By the end of this, you know, you can see that I didn't already pre-season the turkey because this cheesecloth, as I continue to put more and more of the basting solution on it, those herbs are going to go straight down into the skin. And we will remove this cheesecloth um, one hour in, or one hour to go, and you'll see how just nice and beautiful this is. Okay, so now my turkey has the cheesecloth on top of it. The wings are down. I'm going to take my roasting pan, and in the roasting pan, I've already cut up um, two carrots, one parsnip, or three parsnips, one turnip, one onion, and a stalk of celery. Oh, and garlic. I love garlic. So we have this down. I'm going to take the roasting rack. I went ahead and sprayed it with some cooking spray so that when we take the turkey off, it's not going to stick. I'm going to pick up this heavy turkey and set it right down into the center. Actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to flip it so that the breast is breast side down for the first half of the cooking. Okay. 
and cheesecloth is still on the bottom, so now we have the top. I'm going to take my basting mixture, I've got my handy dandy baster, and I'm going to go ahead and get this all over this side of the turkey. Don't forget the wings. I always shoot them inside the cavity as well. Now because there's so many solids that are in the base, you, it will sometimes get stuck and you'll just have to um, push it out with a little bit of pressure in the bowl. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put the turkey into the oven. We're going to start at 450 degrees for 30 minutes. After that 30 minutes, you're going to reduce to 350 degrees for the remainder of the cooking time. Since this is a 22 pound uh, turkey, it's going to take four and a half hours to cook. And halfway through at that two hour mark, I'm going to go ahead and take it out and flip it so it's breast side up. Alright, so this turkey is ready to get into the oven.